Mike Stanton. It's January 26th, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for taking some time this week. Happy to be here. Thanks, Mike. Uh, more of the same fairly stable interest rates this week, despite uh, some more interesting economic data that is uh, continuing to surprise uh, economists, at least. How did the market react? Yeah, this week the muni market was relatively um, underperforming relative to the treasury market. Muni yields uh, were unchanged to five basis points tighter, depending on which part of the curve we're looking at. Um, treasury moves were a little bit, uh, a little bit tighter with one to seven basis points across the board. Um, this week, the muni market had roughly 8.3 billion of new issue supply that was digested with really without an issue. Um, the, the additional supply, along with another week of inflows into mutual funds, really made that uh, additional supply be a non-issue. One of the things I thought was interesting, I was just taking a look at the, uh, our chart of mutual fund inflows, and you could see that while they are positive, just like they were positive last January, the positive uh, scale is not as dramatic. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out in the coming months. Uh, you know, last year, mutual funds started very strong in January and then uh, ended up having net outflows for the year. We'll see if uh, investors are, are truly have turned the corner or coming back to the muni market now. Um, on the economic side, we did see a, a stronger than expected uh, GDP report, and then this morning, Friday morning, we saw a uh, uh, inflation report, the core PCE, which is, as we, we've talked about in the past, the Fed's preferred measure for inflation, was uh, under 2% on an annualized, or on a six-month basis for the first time. Uh, so it does look like inflation appears to be under control. Investors are kind of balancing that strong economic growth with tame inflation, and uh, sounds like we might be in, in for that soft landing that's uh, been uh, projected for a while. Right. Looking ahead to, uh, to next week's activity, uh, the calendar lightens up somewhat. What, uh, what do you see standing out? Well, next week we have the Federal Reserve meeting, which usually uh, results in a lower supply week, but we're, we're expecting $3.5 billion to be priced. Um, interestingly, January supply of roughly $30 billion uh, is the most the muni market has seen since 2017. So the telegraph supply coming at the end of last year has actually come to fruition, even though it's been digested pretty well with those inflows, that we, as we just discussed. Um, this week, with that calendar, the largest deal of the week is a billion um, dollar deal with uh, the New York State Thruway with J.P. Morgan. Uh, that's a deal that we'll be following to see how that price is to see um, what kind of levels uh, are priced into the market. I don't want to give uh, this past week's activity short shift. Uh, just over $250 uh, million of bonds priced with uh, BAM insurance last week. Any transactions stand out to you? Uh, the two largest deals for the week for BAM were two competitive sales. Uh, the Texas mud market continues to be pretty strong with their issuance. The Siena Park Levy Improvement District priced a $37 million deal with Samco. And then there was a Mill Creek School District deal in Pennsylvania, roughly $31 million, bought by Jenny Montgomery. And the largest negotiated sale this week for, for BAM was a Chester County, Pennsylvania deal. That was a, a $30 million deal with Raymond James. And looking ahead to next week, I know we just uh, pr produced a BAM Credit Insights video with Mark Capel on the Snake River uh, Improvement and uh, Service District in Wyoming, a kind of rare Wyoming transaction for $17 million that's going to price next week with Piper. Any other transactions stand out for you? Yeah, there's a $30 million West Haven, Connecticut deal transaction also with Raymond James. Um, and then there's also a $20 million Granite City School District, Illinois, that Steve will be pricing. So some nice chunky deals in there with that uh, lower supply for the week. Great. Well, thanks for your time today, Chris. I uh, will talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.